Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. Pursue your artistic craft. Now, I know everybody out there is an artist, but you know what? Listen anyway. Because you have a lot of people out there and they feel strongly called to their art, whether it's writing or uh, photography. And real quick, I'm using that because I had someone comment on my uh, one of my videos and they said they just didn't feel good with whatever they were doing and they wanted to do writing and photography. And I say, hey, go for it. In fact, that inspired this particular podcast. And so it could be it could be doing actual art, doing paintings, uh, it could be doing some artists and stuff, creating some stuff, uh, creating jewelry. That's art right there. There is so much. You know what? We need that. We need the artists. Think about how drab this world would be if we didn't have the people creating music, the people singing, the people writing great stories, the people doing the art, the do people creating sculptures, statues. Think about how, where this world would be. So it's needed. And what I would tell everybody, pursue your craft. Now, I know one of the issues out here is always the money piece. Always the money piece. People say, well, I can't make money with it. And it can be tough. Let's be real. Let's be real. That term starving artist is a, is a thing. It can be tough. We still need it. We still need you to go for it. You know? Even if it's it might have to be part-time, whatever. Still keep it. Because first of all, okay, say you're in a situation, okay, you got a nice steady job, you have a family and all of that. Okay, are you going to work on that job forever? At some point, you might uh, go away from it. In fact, in that movie, The Black Panther, there was a, a character in it. She represented the leader of one of the tribes in Wakanda. And I was reading about her story. I can't even think of her name right now, but she had started acting at the age of 88. And then she's in a major movie at the age of 92. And then I remember another, it was an Asian gentleman, I can't think of his name, but he has done so much. He actually was a model. Dude, in his 80s, he's walking a runway with his shirt off. Look, sometimes, yeah, it's tough. It's tough. But still, that's your talent, we need it, even if it's on a small thing. Okay, say you make jewelry. And you know what? You might not make that much money from it, but you, you might make the pieces that uh, help a relationship. You might save a relationship, make some jewelry for a guy to give his woman who's like, ah, I'm ready to go, but it's so beautiful. Or it could be the type of jewelry that uh, reminds someone of a dear loved one. It could be anything. And then that's the art and everything. I mean, seriously, and you know, yeah, it's tough, but still do it. And as far as making money, uh, let's be real. There's a lot of people who make money just staying in their art. I'm going to use myself for an example. My art is writing. My art is writing. And people know me for my nonfiction, but uh, actually I've had uh, a couple works of fiction that were considered for films. Now, that, that hadn't come through, but that means, okay, all right. Let me keep going with that. You never know. Y'all might be in a theater or on a streaming service watching something written by Ron Wills. <laughs> and you know me. You know me. Even if I'm writing fiction, I'm going to, I'm going to have some deep stuff in it. <laughs> but you never know. You never know. And getting back to myself writing, I remember when I first started writing, I said, you know what? Didn't really, I wasn't really down for what, I was actually educated for. Well, that was just like, you know how you go through something. It's like, damn, this ain't really me. You know what? I want to be a writer. You know, I had written a story about ants when I was seven years old. Yeah, yeah, Disney. I ain't, I ain't going to say anything. I ain't. I'm not going to say anything. But writing was always within me. I remember when I was in college, I actually wrote uh, some scenes, uh, some skits for... Um, a show that we put on, our organization put on in college. And, you know, it's all, it always had it, so I decided to go for it. Now, I remember when I went for it, people were telling me, oh, they don't make any money. They don't make any money. Yeah, okay. I still was going for it. Now, yeah, <laughs> at that full-time job, at that part-time job, but I kept writing. That was my main thing. And look where I'm at now. Everything, even though y'all are listening to my voice, 
I'm here because of my writing. I, the connections I made uh, in life, there were so many things that came from me just following my craft. And I've had people, I've had people read some of my fiction, not even my nonfiction, but some of my fiction, and they say it really moved them. It really moved them. You know, it inspired them. And that, that's it. So, you know, seriously. And we need that. Now, yes, I've been blessed to uh, get paid from what I do and really become successful. But you know what? Sometimes, it, like I said, it's going to be tougher, but we still need that. We still need every artist because you're bringing beauty to the world. Look, imagine, you know, sometimes when people talk about science fiction, people will say, give the scenario, you know, call it the butterfly effect. You know, what happens if somebody go back in time and step on the first butterfly? Would the world have beauty? Beauty is needed, you know? How often have we gone into a place and it was like, uh, you know, like an art can be somebody really doing interior decorating. And really setting up a place, making it look real beautiful. You know, art can be making candles so it smell great. You know, art can be making really delicious looking food. We need it all. We need it. And that's, and you know what? I'm going to say this as an artist. Anybody who is blessed, blessed with some type of art, even if they don't even need it to make money, we need you to do it. Even if it's just for your own edification, we need you to do it. We need it. We need it. We need it. You need it. Because when people have a song within them, a story within them, some type of talent within them, they don't feel right until they unleash it. And like I said, you never know. It don't have to be about you making a million. It was like I said, shoot, you might, you might paint that painting. Like, follow me on this one. You might paint that painting and a young married couple buy it. There's something about it, right? They just got together and stuff. They put it in their living room, a first day, like, little small place. You know, little tiny place, but they put it in there. But some about that, some about that painting, they say a picture is worth a thousand words. It inspires them. Whenever they feel down, they look at that painting, and they just build. They keep building. It means a lot. It says a lot. It does something for us. So that's very important. That's very important. You know, I mean, the, the importance of it even goes beyond money. Yeah, we want to make money. Shoot, trust me. As much money as Ron makes, I want to make more. But when someone comes back to me and say this story really moved them or brought them to tears or got them to think about something, that's special. That's special. Because your impact, your art impacts the lives of other people. So, you know what? Pursue your craft. You know, just pursue it. We need it. We need it. We need your song. We need your story, you know. We need your sculpture. We need your pictures, you know. We need how you make. We love. We need how you make those buffalo wings look good. Hey, that's an art. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> so anyway, pursue your artistic craft, no matter what. You know, don't don't even think about the money. We we need you. We need you. Everybody who is blessed with some type of artistic talent, we need that. Okay. So I want y'all to think about that, and I want everybody, everybody to keep rising. Peace and blessings. <laughs>